Hello everyone, I am Ashwini, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE AML at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of Artificial Intelligence. In today's session, we will discuss knowledge representation using frames. In the previous session, so we have already seen the knowledge representation importance approaches and we have already covered extended semantic network using for knowledge representation and semantic network for knowledge representation. Let's see the overview of this session. Again, introduction we will see about the frames and examples of how we can use that frames as a knowledge representation. So, the first, the frames and frame systems concept is introduced by the Marvin Minsky in the year 1975. And it is the extension of semantic nets. The frames concept is the extension of semantic nets. So, each node or concept or object is represented in the form of frame. This frame is may be defined as a data structure that is represented as a stereotyped situation. It consists of collection of attributes or slots associated values describe some real world entity. So, the frame contains the attribute or slots associated values. So, there are several types of information attached to each frame, not only binary uh, 2 or 3, we can attach uh, the multiple uh, information to that uh, frame. So, uh, the frames not particularly helpful for on their own. Frame systems form a powerful way encoding information that supports reasoning. So, the problems are making the com complex problems. So, representation should become more structured and more beneficial to solve those problems. Uh, day by day, the problems increase in the complexity of that problem. So, it is uh, required that the knowledge also more structured and more beneficial. So, frames may be considered to represent ways of organizing as well as a packaging knowledge in a more structured form. Frames are slightly similar to the concept of classes. So, the class also contains the attributes and methods. Similarly, the frame contains the slot name and value, the attribute value. In the same way, the pairs contains the slot name and value. The complex structures that have facets are fillers. The value of the slot may be a primitive or a string or a constant or an integer. And it slot may contain value referred to other frames also. Most of the frame system allow multiple values per slots and some system supports a procedural attachment as well. So, the procedural attachments nothing but methods can be used for computing the slot value whenever it is required. We can calculate the values also. Frames may contain triggers for checking the consistency or obtaining the updates of other slots. Frames are basically machine usable formalization of concepts or schemata. Let us see the structure of frame. This frame contains the frame name, means whatever we are representing concept that the name we will uh, take as a frame name. Next, uh, the attribute and value slot and filler, the default values, constraints, conditions, the links towards the uh, objects and echo or subclass, a kind of and instance, instantiation procedure, inheritance procedure, default inference procedure and triggers to check the consistency. A frame may contain as many slot filler pairs as required to describe an object. So, the fillers also known as facets. Let us see the list of facets in a frame. It contains the value, default, range, demons and others. The value of a slot, default value. For example, if you are describing any hospital data, the default value of the country is an India or a phone number. The default value is an integer. Range in between 0 to 12, 12 to 24. Like that, we can define the range. For example, if it is a age demons, which will which gives the additional information about the object, means there are some demons we can add if needed, if added. Okay, next other rules, other frames, semantic net, any type of other information we can add to that frame. The frame contains the slots, or that slot contain another frames also. 
So let's say a class frame generally has certain default values which can be redefined at a lower level. So in case a class frame possess an actual value facet, it can't be modified by the descendant frames. The related are linked together into frame system and are organized into hierarchies or network of frames in each frame in the network is either a class frame or an instance frame. That instance frame can't have the further uh, extension of that network. The class frame only have the extension to that network. Let's see the hospital frame. In the hospital frame, the slot names, facet name and facet value. Already we, we have given frame name. Value that is the metro hospital, country default that is India, phone number default, some phone number, address default that is ABC. Let's see the what are the terms we have we are using this uh, frames concept. Uh, one is echo, a kind of or a subclass. So this link connects a two class frames, one of which is a kind of other class. For example, if you take the hospital, hospital is the main uh, root network and uh, the child hospital, heart hospital, ENT hospital, all these are the echo to that hospital, subclasses to that hospital. So a class can define its own slots and also inherit slot value pairs from its superclass. It gives a subtyping hierarchy where all instances of class frames are instances of superclass frames. For example, all child hospitals are hospitals, but not all hospitals are child hospitals. It will be varies. With the help of this link, the knowledge representation becomes more structured and memory efficient. The next term is instance. Inst. So, this link connects a particular instance frame to a class frame. For example, if you take Ames is the hospital name, which is the instance of the hospital. Ames is an instance of the class frame hospital. An instance class possesses the same structure as its a class frame. Next, the third term is a part of. So, here this link connects a two class frames, one of which is contained in the other class. For example, the child hospital and heart hospital, both what are the uh, common things that will be represented with the part of. For example, if you take a doctor's common, uh, ward's common, lab's common, so these three are we will take as a part of a relation. Let's see the description about the frame hospital. So, hospital is the root of the network. Frame name is hospital, country is India, and phone number, address, director name, XYZ something. So, in that, what are other frames? Labs, wards, and doctors. Next, child hospital frame, another class. Child hospital is the frame name. Echo means which is the relation between two classes that is a hospital frame next age is that demon that is a rule if added the child hospital patients has uh, between in the range of 0 to 12 age only okay next heart hospital first frame name heart hospital and echo which will be uh, related with the hospital next lab frame what is the frame name what are the part of so it is a part of hospital and other frames of this lab frame is a pathology and x-ray next a ward frame a frame name is ward part of a hospital and what the frame to this ward is are the orthopedic next a doctor frame a frame name is a doctor and the part of a hospital qualification by default it is mbs Pathology frame. Frame name is pathology. Part of lab in charge. Some test. What are the tests are conducted in that pathology lab? Next X-ray frame. Frame name. Part of and in charge. Something. What you if you want to add, we can add those things also. Are the particular ward frame. Frame name and echo which is related to ward. This is the frame instance description frame name aims hospital frame and values all this we can add to that aims instance already we have we have discussed hospital uh, contains whatever the frame structure facet values all those will be uh, contents to this instance also similarly to the labs frame instance pathology and the child hospital doctor details and the heart hospital details so, we have uh, derived so much of knowledge in that uh, text wise. Let's see the uh, knowledge representation using frames to entire uh, concept is 
द हास्पिटल इज द रूट अंड एम्स इज द इंस्टा नैक्स्ट चैल हास्पिटल अंड हार्ट हास्पिटल आर् द सब क्लास टू दट हास्पिटल नैक्स्ट लैब डॉक्टर वार्ड आर् द पार्ट आफ् दिस हास्पिटल सो द चैल हास्पिटल अंड हार्ट हास्पिटल बोथ कंटेन दिस थ्री लैब डॉक्टर वार्ड so the sub also will contains to this child as well as this heart hospital what are the pathology lab and x ray lab also contains so these two are the sub classes to this lab and here ward also orthopedic ward also sub class to this ward and the entire this information is contains to in this heart hospital and in this child hospital if you take instances aims is the instance of the hospital kalavati is the instance of chail hospital as well as this hospital also we can say kalavati is the instance of this hospital because this one is the instance to the chail hospital and the escorts also we can say the instance of the hospital so the entire information whatever we have written all these facets as slots and the values we are representing in the simple way the entire knowledge is represented in this frames easily let's see the inheritance in the frames so we already know what is the inheritance acquiring the properties from parent class to child class or uh, whatever child classes are there this child hospital and heart hospital will acquire the properties of this hospital that is a root so it is a good way of obtaining information that is not stored in the place we first look it leads to cognitive economy where information in, is only stored in one place while it can be retrieved from different parts of the network next let's see the demons so uh, rules adding the rules for example child hospital if the patient contains the age of in between 0 to 12 then only he is uh, allowed to enter into the hospital that is the rules if added if the value of the slot age is to be entered for a patient of the child hospital it will check whether it lies in the specified range another use of attaching demons is that they allow dynamic information retrieval and storage one may get the value directly from the slot or may have to dynamically calculate the value of the required slot on the basis of other values so here we can easily retrieve the information we can easily store the information dynamically for example if you take a doctor calculating the tax for the doctor then it will be calculated based upon his salary information it will be added the clause the salary based upon the salary information tax will be calculated let us consider another example date of birth slot if we are interested in knowing the age then we will know the date of birth then it is easy to calculate the age of the patient next how we can implement this frame knowledge to implement this frame knowledge there is a, uh, there are multiple languages one of the language is object oriented programming it is easy to implement also but uh, especially for the artificial intelligence there is a special kind of language that is a prolog which is a very easy to implement implement this artificial intelligence in the form of rules facts and queries so it can be frames can be implemented in prolog in the form of frame f name we can write like this facts let's see the example in this way we can write the facts and the rules of the inheritance facts and rules and we pose the queries to the uh, rules and facts so in this session we have seen what is a frame what are the three terms uh, which we are used in this frame echo inst part of and we have seen one example uh, drawing the frames network uh, using hospital knowledge thank you